Providence College hockey fans, welcome to this week in Friars Hockey presented by Cox. I'm Nick Rojas. The Friars are coming off a huge weekend, one in which they won both games against the UMass Lowell Riverhawks. The wins launch them into the top 10 in the rankings and the top 15 in the pairwise and gets them ready for a matchup with the number two UMass Minutemen. On today's edition of the show, we catch up with Coach Lehman and Tice Thompson to talk about the recent success and get ready for the matchup this weekend. All that more coming up on This Week in Friars Hockey. Let's start the show. We're joined now as we are every week with the head coach of the men's ice hockey team, Coach Lehman. Coach, last week you told me about how you want to see your team finish the chances. Friday night, I believe you finished a few chances there. What did you see from the team? Well, I, I mean, there was, there was space to make plays, and we made plays. And that's what I was really happy about is that, um, you know, like uh, we, we, we'd gone through a stretch where we hadn't been given much space. But, um, you know, we, we got into a game where we played really fast, and it, and it got us some chances, and we were able to finish on those chances. Saturday night, it's here at Schneider Arena. A tight game, much different game than Saturday night. The opportunities came at a premium. How did you like your team's ability to adapt to the different style of play and come out with a win? Well, I, I mean, that's what I loved about the game is that, um, you know, Friday night there was there was a lot of rush offense. Um, Saturday they, they sat four guys over the top of us and, you know, basically didn't allow any rush offense. Um, and we were able to adapt and, and grind out a, a win, you know, grind out a, you know, a, a win in a completely different style of game. So I was very happy about that. We showed some, you know, we showed some, I guess some uh, some depth in in our arsenal there a little bit of, of how we can win games. Now over the next week and a half, it's a little bit of a different schedule. You have one game this weekend, then you have a game Tuesday and then Thursday, so it's a little bit different. How are you approaching the team's practice and handling everything this week? Well, we've been giving the guys some days off here in the second half a little bit. Um, you know, we're going to continue to do that, and then you know we're just going to kind of monitor their energy after each game. But uh, it's an interesting schedule. I mean, in the fact that we don't. You know, we have three games in the five nights there, but, um, you know, but we don't play back to back. So that's, that can be an advantage for us too, is that, you know, maybe we can ride some guys a little bit longer. We'll see, we'll see how their energy is. And, you know, I think throughout the three games, we're gonna need everybody though. And before we get to those two games on the other end of it, it's all, all the focus is on UMass this weekend. The last time you guys played was all the way at the beginning of the season, November. What's gonna be the difference this time around to hopefully give your team an edge? Well, I mean, I think we just got to play our same game, you know. I mean, I think they're they're a good team. I think they've grown. I think they, uh, you know, they're very deserving of, of where they're at in the league. And um, you know, I think for us, we just got we have to play our game. We I thought we really played our our game well against them the last two times we played them. So I think if we stay on it. We'll you know we'll give our chance uh, or give ourselves a good chance for success. Freshman Tice Thompson joins the program a little bit later. What have you seen from him over the course of the season? He's been pretty solid this year. Um. I've seen everything, you know, just as far as a, a kid that's coachable, uh, a kid that works. I mean, he works his tail off. I love his package as far as a player. He's got skill. He's got skating. He's got hockey sense. And, you know, I think the, be the best thing about him, though, is, is his attitude. You know, he's, he was very unheralded coming into our freshman class. Um, he's, he's playing his best hockey at the right time. But his, it's all about his attitude. You, you, as a coach, you put him anywhere in the lineup, and he just goes and he says, all right, that's what he wants me to do. I'm going to do it. Um, and that's how he approaches things. There's never any moping. There's never any bad days with him. He brings, you know, as a coach, he brings you energy every day. I, you know, I've been telling the guys, I've been telling our assistant coaches, let's get some more Tyses, you know. So that's, that's uh, how I feel about him. Love him. Um, we're just happy that he's here. And we're happy for him. As well, Coach, good luck this weekend, and we'll see you next week. Thanks, Nick. Love your shirt. <laughs> Looking to bring your school or team to Schneider this season? Group tickets are on sale starting as low as $8 for games. So call 401-865-GO-PC and ask to speak with one of our group sales representatives to help book your next outing. We're joined now by freshman forward Tice Thompson. Now, Tice, this is your freshman year, and you've had a really solid season to this point. What have you had to adjust about your game to adjust and adapt to the college level? Um, I think coming in, just being confident with uh, your ability is a big thing. Um, I mean, last year I played in USHL, it's a good league, and um, knowing that a lot of guys in college came from that league. Um, so just continue to play your game, and I mean, guys here are bigger and stronger, so just making plays a little quicker and uh, being strong on the puck. 
making a real push for the playoffs this late in the season. Games are getting more intense. Tight game like Saturday night, one goal game. What have you seen on the ice that really shows like, all right, this is the type of season this is at this point in the season? Yeah, I mean, I mean, well, we have four games left, so um, everyone's pushing for a playoff spot. Everyone's uh, pushing to make the tournament, so um, everyone's bearing down, and it's it's a lot harder this time of year to score goals, and because um, every, everyone's defense is uh, really, uh, everyone knows what each other is doing, and. It's, uh, it's a lot harder for sure. Yeah, the tape is out there, the scout is out there. Now everyone on this level, Tice, has a background in hockey. Your, your background with your family is, you know, your dad played professionally, your brother plays professionally. So is there really anything that you can kind of take from their experience and their background and kind of use it to your advantage? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I mean, you hear it every day. Um, always work your hardest and that, that kind of thing. Um, just go to the rink, worry about it day by day, and, um, and everything will take care of itself. Well, everything has taken care of itself so far. You've had a good year, and good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. For a preview on the matchup with the UMass Minutemen, we send it down now to Mike DeMars. Mike? Thanks, Nick. On Saturday, the Friars will host the UMass Minutemen at Schneider Arena. The Minutemen currently sit atop the hockey standings and are ranked number two in the national polls. UMass is led by defenseman Cale McCarr. The sophomore from Calgary leads the team with 24 assists and is second in overall points with 34. McCarr was drafted fourth overall by the Colorado Avalanche in the 2017 NHL Entry Draft. Another player to keep an eye on is sophomore John Leonard. The Amherst native scored the tying goal in both games of UMass's first ever weekend sweep of Boston College. Leonard also assisted on the game-winning goal on Saturday night. In goal for the Minutemen will be sophomore Matt Murray, who had a strong start to the season, but has allowed 18 goals in his past six games. Murray's 2.03 goals against average is second best in Hockey East, trailing only the Friars netminder, Hayden Hockey. UMass bested the Friars in their previous two matchups this season. In both games, the Minutemen scored the game-winning goal with less than two minutes remaining in the third period. That's your weekend preview. Sending it back to you, Nick. Thank you so much, Mike. That'll just about wrap up today's edition of the show. A big thank you, as always, to our guests, Coach Lehman and Tice Thompson, for joining the program. Saturday night's game is selling out quickly, so if you haven't done so already, make sure you go to Friars.com and get your tickets now. If you can't make it out to the rink, you can watch the game on TV on NBC Sports Boston or listen to it on the radio on 104.7 FM News Radio. For all the post pictures, updates, and more, head to Friars.com and follow the team on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you so much for watching This Week in Friars Hockey, presented by Cox. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.